Hey folks, Dave here in Studio B with my away Chiefs jersey on today. So we're going to talk some hockey here, specifically the Hockey Bones Excel Helper Flipper, if you will. If you search PT Games Hockey Bones, you will go right to the, uh, the Hockey Bones page. Click on the freebies, and this is in the freebies section, okay? It is free to get. So let me, let me show you what it is and what it does, because it, it is really, really helpful to play hockey bones, at least, at least it is for me, because hockey bones, there's a ton of dice rolls in hockey bones. Not a bad thing, per se, but it does make it a long game because of all the dice rolls. This will roll several rolls all at once, separate them, label them, and you can you know, resolve a play so fast. And it's really enhanced my hockey bones playing. In fact, I'm playing way more hockey bones now with this, this flipper than I was rolling my own dice. So let's get into it. So let me show you what it is. So it is a on Excel. It's a spreadsheet, pretty much. And uh, uh, Keith did a, a super job designing this thing. So first you can see that it, it has some charts here. You get On the right, you get your injury charts. Uh, it's got lines available. I'll explain that in one second. That is super cool. You, it, you get your team defense chart. So it really explains what team defense is, what the number is going to be. So it's just kind of a reminder here. It's got an exact time roll, but you really won't need that because on the left-hand side at the bottom, you have an exact time roll already, and I use that all all the time. In the middle of the uh, spreadsheet here, you have the scoreboard. You're away, you're home, and your time, your period. Uh, your shift number, and then your lines. And I'll explain that in one second as well. And then uh, to the left of that, that's your main table. That's your main dice roll, your face-off roll, and all the other rolls you're going to need. Below that, you have your block shot reminder to show you what numbers uh, will be a shot block. And also, it'll tell you if a shot is blocked, there's a chance that it might be screened as well. And so that's a reminder there. You got your penalty types reminder, as well as your clearing reminder uh, and you're clearing numbers as well. So it, it really, it, there's a lot of little things in Hockey Bones that uh, that I, you know, I don't always remember to check, but they're all here in this Excel uh, spreadsheet. So how does it work? Well, first thing, let me show you how the, the dice rolls and uh, all the, the things that happen over here. So we got the new period starting. So we have our line. So we're going to click on the, the red die, and it's going to take 24 seconds off the clock. Down at the bottom, it's going to give us our exact time. So if something were to happen, this is our exact time. Because remember, it's what's happening in that 24 seconds, not necessarily 24 seconds on the nose. So it does factor in that. Or you can use your exact timetable, whichever your preference. So what this did when I clicked the dice is it gave me a face-off decision. Who's going to get the face-off? Now, if I keep rolling here, visitor, left wing, uh, right D if there's an A, or otherwise it goes to the home team. So home is in green and visitor is in orange. And again, it's a left wing. Power play takes precedence. If not, then it goes to the home team. And again, this no time roll here is not changing any of the time. It's just giving me fresh rolls. And that does come in handy on things like delayed penalties and power plays. So just for the sake of this uh, discussion here, we've uh, rolled the dice, and it says Visitor CAA. Let's just say we don't have any face-off uh, person. That's an AA. So it's going to go to the Visitor Center. So the Visitor Center has the puck. The dice roll for that player would be 3-11-5. So you find out what a 3-11-5 is. Let's just say it's a shot on net. Well, now you have your shot on net right here. And this turns yellow on the block shot numbers. Three being the most common because usually you're just going to have one block out there. So this potential shot on net is blocked. And then again, we look at the red die and the block shot uh, down here remind us that if it was a one or a two on the red die, it would be screened. In this case, it is not screened. It is just blocked and um, you proceed with the, your normal block. If the shot was in range, then you have your save. And if it happened to be a rebound, it reminds you to clear it. Oh, my gosh. How many times have I forgot to check for a clearing rating when doing a rebound? It's right here. You will always <laughs> be reminded to check for a clear rating. Then if it's on that again, you have your second shot roll and your second save roll. If it's a goal, your assists are all done. Two assists going to 
uh, the uh, bottom and the second highest because again Cisco a uh, Cisco four three two one so one and two are your low assist ratings and next to the assist ratings you have your retali retaliatory or retaliation number so if there was a, a coincidental minor or a fight you would look at that and it would be the um, the second to the bottom because again five four three two one is your retaliatory that would be a two everything is here you have your face off roll your main roll. Your shot on net, your potential save number or goal number, your clearing rate, everything's here. Your assist, everything's right there, and it's so fast. So you roll the dice, and you get your results, and there you go. All right, so let's just say, you know, it's a turnover. You click on the, the red die again. Boom, we get 24 more seconds off the clock. You get your exact time down over here on the left, and now you get your roll, followed by all your other rolls. So you're playing hockey bones. It's just instead of rolling, you know, as many as eight or nine times. So let's, let's just do this. So you got a face off one, two, shot on net three, save four, rebound clear check five, second shot six, second save seven. And let's just say you score the goal. Now you roll twice for assist. That's nine. So potentially up to nine rolls if you get a rebound goal. And this all does it here right in one shot and it even gives you extra stuff here too so you get an extra roll one extra roll two and a who and some of these things are customizable there's some things you can't touch but there's some that are so for example i change this to penalty so that's going to be my penalty roll so if i roll here and we get the x i get down here to see what the penalty roll is it's all done in one swoop so i i'm going to put that as my penalty roll if you have a, another roll for some reason you can change extra one or extra two to whatever you want it to be it's really that simple on the scoreboard it counts down the time automatically every time you click on the red die uh, let's just say you're on a power play though and it's the first pass is free so if you need another dice roll, you go to a no time roll. And now you get fresh set of die rolls here without affecting the time. If you wanted to, okay, and I know some people don't like to have all the dice rolls here at once. If you wanted to, just keep using the no time roll. All right? So here's the face off. It goes to the visitor center. No time roll. Okay, I got a 1-4. Oh, that's a shot on net. No time roll. You get a fresh shot uh, dice roll. Uh, it's on net. Let me check my save. You know, no time roll, you get a fresh save. So if you wanted to, you can continue to roll dice every single time using the no time roll, and it's, there's no penalties for that. It just, just you know, will do some fresh die. I like to have them all here at once so I can kind of just look up, boom, I'm done, and, and get my play over with, and it just speeds up the game so much. So what do some of these other things do? Well, obviously, new period will recycle the period, and it will bump it up one and give you 20 minutes on the clock. Um, the no time roll we already discussed. The plus one is neat. The plus one will add one to any cell that you click on. Just be careful with it. You really don't want to mess it up. What you really want to use it for is your scores, okay, even your, um, or your, um, yeah, just the scores. That's all I would use it for. Now, you can manually change some things here, so if you wanted to go, uh, let's say we go new period and we're going to start a new game. Yes, you can type in one. Okay. And you can even change the shift here, I believe, and not suffer any penalties. Because that will just count down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Actually, well, start with zero. Then it will be 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's going to count down your shifts. But let's just say that, you know, you score on the power play. And you're like, okay, you know, I need to start this back at 4. Then you can put that at 4 if you want. Uh, I recommend only really using, you know, changing the score in the period. I really wouldn't mess with anything else. Uh, now, you can actually change some colors here and change some things. So let's just say you had uh, Boston at Chicago. Okay? You could do that. You can even change the cell color. So if you wanted to do Boston at Chicago, you could do that. Uh, so some of these things are in, uh, you can change and make look really neat. Uh, I think what I did here is I actually reversed this. So I did a black with a what? Actually, with a yellow, I think I did for my scoreboard. So I did that, and um, that just makes it stick out a little bit. You know what I mean? So now I get my time. In fact, I, I think I might have even done this. So that's my scoreboard now, and it all works just fine because I just changed the colors. Um, I also what I did here 
as I change this to gray, and I change that to gray, and this I was keeping for shots on net. So that was kind of my shots on net. Now you can put these, I think I put these um like this is what I did. So that's my shots on net. And again, you can click one, and that'll add shots on net if you want to keep the shots on net like this. But then, but again, you can change some things here um, in, in the scoreboard itself. If you want to center these, just go to center. It does get a little confusing because now you have this little number there. It's, hey, what's that? But, you know, it's in a gray box, so maybe that's how you'd want to do it. But again, if you click on this, you can change it. If they score, you can change it. And to reset it, just type in the number here for the score. And type in the number here. There are some things you don't want to mess with. Don't mess with the clock. Okay? Don't mess with the clock. <laughs> I learned the hard way on that. And don't touch the lines either. Leave, leave these lines here. That's fine. Now, um, one of the things that's really neat is this line chart over here on the right. So let's talk about that. What is this line chart thing here? Well, if you look at the Hockey Bones cards, on the card itself, it gives a number. 9.0, 9.5. Defensemen are higher, 12.5, you know, 11.5. That's the how many shifts they're going to get in the game. So you could come over here before the game. So let's let's do new period, and let's go first period, right? It's going to be nothing, nothing, Boston, Chicago. No shots on that. So basically, you got to manually reset this thing here. Okay, so we manually reset it, and we get Boston and Chicago. And now we're going to say, you know something? We're not going to play a line four tonight. So we're going to put zero here. But we still need to get this these guys up here. We need we still need to get to about 32 lines, okay? Because there's 30 shifts a game, not including the power plays. So we're going to have to bump everybody up here. So let's go 13 and 11. And then 13 and 11. And this can be any number you want. Usually line one plays more than line three. Alrighty, and then we're going to give um, these guys here one to make up for the five that we lost. So that's going to give us, what do we got, 13, 24? That's about 32. The, the default with the program came with 32, so I'm going to leave 32 on here. And so what, now what's going to happen is it's going to tell you what lines are starting the game. So let's just say line three. So you go to away forwards, line three, and, a, and the away defense, line one. The home team, they're starting line one offense and line two defense. Once you have this locked in, hit the minus button. And you're going to see it's going to change up here. So the away forwards, forward line three gets eight shifts. They're now going to get seven because we're going to subtract one. And their away D line one is going to go down here as well. So click this. So seven and 11. So you can see that they've subtracted lines. And that's how you can keep track of the lines during the game. What's going to happen next? So you're going to be playing your segment. So you're going to roll the dice, right? Okay, you roll the dice, you roll the dice. Your shift is counting down. At the end of the two minutes, it's going to hit zero. Finish the play, and now you've got to put out fresh lines. And it's going to recommend lines. And then what it's going to do, it's going to recommend different lines. So as you can see, we have uh, a way forward line three is on the ice. It's going to recommend line one. So when you change lines, you come over here. You change this, and so now you have lines 1 and 3, and 3 and 1, 1 and 3, 3 and 1. Hit the minus button, and it keeps track of it up here is what you do. And so eventually that'll count down, and if somebody gets to 0, then they don't come out anymore. So that's how the line shifts work. I like that. And again, you're not locked in here. If you said, you know something, I don't want to put out line two, I'm going to double shift line one, then you can make that change over here and just hit the subtract button. This is all just to kind of get the numbers right in the game, and it's not you know, mandatory by any means. Play it the way you want. But that's how this, this works here. So if, if you remember, I had my little card flippers that I had uh, when I played on the table. I don't need them anymore. I just used the lines available chart, and it counts it down for me. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else to show you here. That's kind of how it works. So, again, you know, we'll go to new period, check for bench minors. You roll your dice. You get your face off. All your dice rolls are here that you'll ever need on a particular play. Uh, you have your chart notices here, your exact time, which I really like the exact time. I really do. And then you get your lines available over here. And, again, if you want to just start a new game, click on one on the period. We're going to start a new game. 
and you can make any over, anything over here you want. You want to put out these guys for 14, put them on for 14. You want to put out these guys for 9, these guys for 8. If you do have a line for, you know, wh whatever it is, you, you control it. It is your game. You control that. But when you do the lines here, that's how you do that. So there are some things you can manipulate here, including the lines, including the, the scoreboard here. Again, if I wanted to make this a, um, a black with a, uh, a yellow font, I can make period one. So you can really kind of dress it up just a little bit. Uh, and what I would suggest to do is once you download this and get it working, save it as a second spreadsheet so you always have the original to go back to if you screwed something up because I have screwed some things up. Now, when it comes to power plays here, so let's just say this. So we're playing the game. So line one and line one, and then they're going to start line two and line one. And what's great is that uh, – what is it, line two? So we're going to hit, hit minus one. We're off and running. We roll the dice. We're playing. We're playing. We're playing. These will never duplicate what's on the ice. So on the right hand side, this is your the lines that are on the ice, and then these are the lines that they're suggesting to put out. What's great about it is sometimes I forget to hit the minus one, but it won't matter because all I need to do is look look on my table to see who's on the ice. Oh, I had line three out instead of line one. All right, so I'm going to make the change here. So I had, I had say I had all line threes, and now I'm going to make the change. Okay, boom. I make the change now, and now I get my lines up to date. And then it's going to give you fresh lines to look at that are not uh, going to duplicate anybody on the ice. That's kind of neat. So now you get a power play, right? So tripping, this guy goes off. Hit the power play button. See how we have shift one? There's still um, 20 seconds left or 40 seconds left in the shift or whatever it is. Hit the power play. It resets the five. That's the two-minute countdown clock. And it changes everybody to power play over here on the right side, if you noticed. Okay. So now what that does is you have your power play lines and your penalty kill lines. And it doesn't matter who they are. It's not going to affect um, any of your – it's not going to penalize anybody out there on the power play. So it's kind of like a bonus shift. And also over here it tells you if it's going to be PP1 or PK1, 2 or 3. What I do is I have line one is power play one and PK one, and line two is PK two and power play two, just how I do it. But it gives you random everything. It really does. As far as the assists here, I haven't figured that out yet what this assist thing means, so I still go over here on the right side to use my assist. That's just what I do. That's how I like it. Um, but anyway. but So, yeah, so that's a, um, a, a look here at the Hockey Bones excel flipper helper and some of the things you can do with it and it really really makes game playing so fun and so fast uh, you know a lot of times i don't even use the scoreboard up here honestly you know i won't i won't keep track of this because i just need the time and the shift and the dice rolls plus my assists if i score a goal and uh all the charts here are nice so if i'm checking my clearing rating i look at the defense rating check the clearing rating it's all right here Everything's right here on the table to make you play a game real fast. You don't really need anything else, you know, to play this here with a helper. And um, so, yeah, so let me come back here to the studio here. And where are we here? Okay, there we are. So uh, if you have any questions on the helper, you know, let me know. I'm not an expert with it, you know, but um, I'm getting to know what I can do with it and how I enjoy playing you know, setting it up and playing Hockey Bones. And uh, if you have any questions, I can ask Keith, who designed this thing. He did a great job with it. And um, so that is a quick look because a couple of people were asking me, but what does this thing do and what is it? Well, that's what it does. It keeps track of your time. It rolls all your dice all at once if you need to. And again, if you're on a power play or if you're in a situation, you just do the no time roll and it rolls them all again and it doesn't affect the time, which is beautiful. You can manually change the scoreboard uh, score if you want, and the whole bit. Don't touch the time. There's a few things you don't want to touch because they're all integrated with, you know, the formulas and the macros. And then your lines off to the side. I love that. I, I, f I always forget to, to change them, but as long as you, you catch it before you shift to the next line, you can change your lines and, you know, it keeps track of how many they've played. So, so much fun. It, I'm flying through the games of Hockey Bones now. Now that I'm not rolling dice, I'm not hurting my arm, dropping the things in the dice tower, you know, 150 times a game, which was fun. But this, I, I, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of this. I'm getting more Hockey Bones because I can play faster. And I don't feel like I'm rushing through it, and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. So, anyway. Hey, I'm Dave, and that's a look at the Hockey Bones Excel Helper Flipper. And we'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.